we're, we're not doing the job when we're getting some opportunities to score, and that's the difference in the game. Um, I think we had second and third, nobody out. We didn't score. We had first and third, one out, didn't score. And, you know, the pitchers are pitching extremely well. And right now we're not swinging the bat. And it's not just one guy. It's, it's more than one guy, and um, we got to get it going. When you don't have success in those situations, one through nine, do you think guys try to do too much? I, I think at times you can. Um, you know, guys can try to, you know, maybe do too much at the plate, trying to hit the ball out of the ballpark instead of, you know, just a base hit, a good at bat. And it's something we got to get better at. I know you never like to lose, but when you sit through four hours and 37 minutes of rain delays, does it sting a little bit more? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if it does. It's, you know, I look at we probably should have given up one and probably scored two or three today, and we didn't, and that's what stings. You had walked out to the field several times after the second rain delay. It seemed like there was still a, water, a lot of water in the outfield. How close was this to not being finished? Uh, no, I think we thought we were going to finish. It was just a matter of how long we'd have to wait until that water drained. And I think the grounds crew did a really, really good job getting the field ready and um, getting the, you know, the water, the standing water out of the outfield. Dan. What kind of explanation did you get for the, the first rain delay when it was That was delayed? a Major League Baseball. Um, they thought it was going to rain hard, um, and they were the ones that were in charge of it. Here in the middle. After such a long delay, uh, what's the kind of feeling as Atantis comes in and you know, closer and closer and then finishes the immaculate inning? Well, I mean, again, we had some chances to score. Um, and, you know, I mean, we felt like we were going to score. We could shut them down. And, again, Dellen did an outstanding job. We just didn't get it done. Is it cool to see a feat like that? I, I've seen Dellen do it before. Um, but it's good to see him throwing the ball so well. Right behind you. Oh, Tanaka struggled a little bit, but uh, still kept pitch oh, 16 innings and kept in two. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd call one run struggling. Um, <laughs> You know, he gave up the one run in the first, the, the, the earned run, and then he got, you know, two big strikeouts and another out, and then he seemed to pitch extremely well. And, uh, again, another good performance out of him. Uh, Dave. Joe, you mentioned before with the offense it's not one guy, and it, it's true there's a bunch of guys now that seem to be scuffling a bit. I mean, do you have to look at a couple guys, one being judge, as far as kind of take some of the pressure off maybe, whether it's moving down or even a guy like Holiday maybe getting a couple of days off to yeah. get other guys in there? <laughs> You know, I mean, you talk about moving Aaron down. Um, you know, he's one for four today. Um, you know, obviously you'd like to see more always. But um, it's not like we have a lot of hitters that are extremely hot to move up. Uh, I mean, that's, that's the issue. So um, he's got to fight his way out of it as well as some other guys do. Randy. You mentioned the first delay is Major League Baseball. But when it's uh, barely raining and you're sitting there for an hour and a half and you know that uh, – Heavy rains are going to come. Are, are guys getting angry? You, at this point, you, you, you no. I mean, we thought we'd have enough time to get it in, um, and they were expecting heavy rains at one o'clock, one thirty, and it never really came. Um, I think they were trying to protect both sides from using a starter and then blowing a starter after two or three innings. So, I didn't have a problem with it. To your right, clap. Joe, just following up on Dave's question, is it your inclination then to just stay the course with this lineup and see it play through it? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to have to fight their way through it. Um, you know, the, you look at the, the year that Aaron's had up until this point, it's been pretty good. You look how important Matt Holliday was to us in the first half, it was really good. they got to fight their way out of it, just like, you know, some other guys have had to at, at points this year. Dan. Todd is struggling a bit mm -hmm. now, too. It, when you're learning a player, do you – just have to let him, or do you think he's still acclimating himself to the environment, or is it just a regular slump for, for Yeah, him? I just, uh, I mean, he had some big RBIs on this homestand, but again, he's kind of scuffling as well, and, um, you know, we're trying to get to know him as he's trying to get to know us, and, you know, a lot of times the best way to do that is to, is to watch him play, and you try to iron things out as you go along. Did uh, that ball skip on Ellsbury? In it center? looked like it a little bit, yeah. 